Well, a very good Sunday evening, West Ham fans. Hope you're having a uh, nice Sunday roast. Has Julian Lopetegui been given the dreaded vote of confidence? Well, a very good Sunday to you all, my friends. Hope we've decompressed from the shit show that was yesterday. Um, now, there's two parts. I want to talk about, obviously, the Julian Lopetegui, Julian Lopetegui Prescott, like post-match press like interview, and then we'll talk about the vote of confidence. Um, now, you'd have probably seen already uh, or, or read his um, post-match press conference, Um where he once again apologises. Sorry doesn't seem to be the hardest word when it comes to Julian Lopetegui, um, as he apologised to fans once again for the thrashing we we suffered yesterday. And it was a thrashing. It could have been eight. Easily. Easily. A couple of, yeah, hit the post, wasn't it? A couple of saves Mariola could easily be eight without even trying yeah, on yesterday, which was awful. Um, he was quoted after the game saying, we are very disappointed to lose the match to three points and for our fans too. I think it was a match where we started well and did good things. We were able to score and to have clear chances. So it was a pity that we suffered their goal before half time. But these things can happen. He spoke about the subs, saying we want to bring our subs, but football happens really quickly. And despite getting the subs on, I think you know we had we could do better with the players on the pitch. But they were the first eleven you picked, Julian. So you know the, the subs were the subs. You know they're substitutes. That was the first eleven you picked. Um, it's about keeping the focus and the right mentality. Um, now the bit that, that sort of, <laughs> you know, again, sorry doesn't seem to be the hardest word. Uh, we're very sorry to the fans, but we will look to put it right. I think when you've lost, you have to be disappointed because, for sure, we are very sorry to our fans. But on Monday, we have to change our mentality and be ready to work hard for the next challenge. I think we have a lot of work to do in front of us. No shit, Sherlock. Um, and then this was followed today with an article in uh, Claret and Hugh, which spoke about. I'm going to press the button again because I didn't do it. Which spoke about um, the 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 vote of confidence, uh, the dreaded vote of confidence, um, which he has received exclusively, according to um, news from Sean Wheatston, um, saying that club sources have refused to consider any knee jerk reactions regarding the head coach after another disappointing. Uh, result after the Hammers obviously collapsed 4 1 against Spurs. The board believes Julien Lopetegui needs time to integrate nine new players and transition to a new style of play and will be given time to turn things around. There is a feeling in the club that the head coach should be given breathing space until the new year before any review is made. A senior source has described. Um, Caduce's red card as being a devastating blow and a miss, a massive miss for the club. The social outcry following the London Derby defeat was predictable, but the board have a track record of backing their managers. Head coach, actually, Sean, got that one wrong. He's not, head, he's not a manager. So that's what we're led to be believed. However, you've got to think, you know, we've also heard from senior sources, and we know who the senior sources are. They have this sort of five losses in a row sort of policy. Um, obviously, we won last week in some, to reset the clock. I don't know how these things work. Um, we play a Man United side. We boined from a, uh, a, a win against Brentford. Um, and their manager's under a lot of pressure as well. Um, obviously, Mohamed Kadus, you know, with the three-match ban, will not be back in a West Ham shirt, at least until a Newcastle game on the 25th of November. Um, I think it was Jacob Steinberg or Shane Thomas saying, will he, will Julien be in in the dugout by the time he gets back? Um, obviously, we'll have obviously the, the three games, but you've got, uh, you know, Man City. Then you've got Les no, Man United, Leicester. And then Everton at home, then another international break. So it'll be almost over a month where you won't see Mohamed Kadusan. So it obviously gives the opportunity in you know, every cloud uh, for Somerville to, um, to stake a claim. But also, what, you know, and then what's interesting will be if Julian's still there, you know, hopefully, 
because it means we'd have had at least a couple of good wins. Um, where where Caduce fits back in when he comes back, you know. Um, these things, these are not opportunities is the wrong word, but it forces a change in, a change in starting lineup, obviously, for the Man United game. It forces maybe a different mentality for the Man United game, potentially, as well. Um, and, I mean, we'll probably talk about it more uh, tomorrow, um, that's for sure. I'm sure you've got lots of thoughts, which I'd love to hear. We'll do a live show um, tomorrow lunchtime, as per usual, on a Monday. Um, not really a ratings as such. You can't really rate the players when you lose 4-1. Um, and, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be your sounding board. We'll be your uh, decompression chamber um, because... As yeah, that's the issue when we don't have international, we do have European football now. Is we've got a week to stew on that now. Whereas if we was had if we had Europa League, we'd have a week. We'd have the game on the Sunday usually, and then the game on the Wednesday. So there was always something to. We'll be stewing on this, and being Spurs as well, we'll be stewing in it because no doubt you'll be getting plenty of stick from your Spurs mates, um, and 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 rightly so for that display yesterday. To be honest, you know. Um, I think there's a lot of players who could who need a, a long, hard look at themselves as well. Um, you know, some mentally aren't in the right place. You either play them and they help, that helps their mental mentality, but losing 4-1, yes, they didn't help their mental mentality, that's for sure. You look at Mohamed Caduce, who's had a, a torrid couple of weeks with, with Ghana, and then to have that, and obviously frustration, and um, and now we haven't got him for three weeks now, three three games, so... As I said, someone like some of it will be stepping up on the left hand side, and and we still need to sort out that. I think Nikki said something on um, West Ham fan TV: "We're like a donut, no middle," and it's so true. You know, we're like a polo. You know, we're like you know, it, it's there's no middle, and um, we'll talk about that a lot more, and I'm um, sure on Monday. But according to reports, he is safe until the new year. Although, if he, I can imagine if he does, then lose five games in a row. That's their rule, isn't it? Because Moyes never got there, did he? He got to four, and then they'd win the fifth game and reset the counter and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I, 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 yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see. Isn't it Man United, you got Man United, you know, again at home. Anything we just don't know what's going to happen, do we? And, uh, you know, and it's 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 not it's not knowing, which I think is the the most frustrating thing at times. You know, particularly when we can see there's there's a. Uh, a real weakness in that midfield. I'm not going to talk about it now, so I want to do it tomorrow. Anyway, this is what this is the news that we've been led to be believed that uh, Julian has been given uh, a sort of vote of confidence, saying he's been given breathing space until at least um, at least the new year to integrate the new players, but also integrate the new style of play, which I still have, personally I still haven't seen. I don't know. Uh, as one of the commentators, I think it was Andy Townsend, said he's watched four or five West Ham games this season and he hasn't seen a prolonged spell of football, you know, 10 minutes, you know, at least 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Um, we'll get little spurts. I mean, the goal yesterday was some really nice one-touch play, really nice football, but then we end up losing 4-1. So that's the last pe- thing that people think about, isn't it, really? Um, anyway, take care. Stay safe, stay warm, stay humble, keep the faith and come on your bloody irons. Much love. <laughs>